What's up everyone? You want some soccer action on Wednesday? Well, you've come to the right place because three of the best leagues in the world are coming to us on Wednesday. The Premier League, the Champions League, and Major League Soccer. But before we dive into the slate, I want to give a special shout out to the sponsor of this video, Sleeper Picks. Don't forget you can use code GOLDBOYS to get up to $500 on a deposit match. Now, without further ado, let's dive into the Wednesday action. Starting with a Premier League game, we've got Liverpool against Luton. Now, this one's going to be an interesting one. Luton are a very tricky team to bet on, but I don't hate both teams to score in this game. Liverpool are not exactly a defensive wagon, even at Anfield, and the odds are pretty nice on Luton to get a goal. That being said, I want to see guys like Carlton Morris. I want to see Adebayo, even though he got injured before the beginning of the last game. So let's make sure he's fit. And we want to see guys like Ross Barkley. Those three guys are in the lineup, feeling pretty good about Luton getting a goal. That being said, Liverpool are a wagon at Anfield and probably will get a result. So you want to look at Liverpool money line and both teams to score or just play both teams to score as a straight. I'll also be going back to my wagon Ross Barkley for shots. And if Darwin Nunes is starting up front for Liverpool, then he'll be shooting left, right and center. We've also got two pretty nice Champions League games going on. We have Porto against Arsenal and we have Napoli against Barcelona. In case you guys don't know by now, I am an Arsenal fan. That being said, playing in Portugal is tricky. Arsenal got knocked out by a Portuguese team in the Europa League last season. Despite that, though, I think Taremi is injured. If Taremi is not starting for Porto, pretty good on Arsenal. That's going to be great. Porto still have a few guys you want to look at for shots. Evan Nielsen, uh, Galeno, those guys are going to be pretty good. Keep an eye on them. I'll probably incorporate them into a shot slotter that I might drop on Twitter, but will definitely be in the Discord. So if you haven't signed up at Gold Boys, don't forget to do that. And while you're at it, subscribe to the YouTube channel, drop some comments below, like the video, all that jazz. I'll be backing Saka for shots. I haven't locked this in officially yet. But Saka is on an absolute heater right now, taking him to score an assist, which he's done five games in a row now. Every single league game in 2024, he's got a goal or an assist. I'll also be looking at his first half shots, most likely splitting up a unit between two first half shots and then a little bit on three first half shots as well. He has been absolutely firing. He's called Starboy for a reason. And even though I'm biased, I think most people can agree he's one of the best wingers in the league right now. Let's hop over to Napoli against Barcelona. These might be two of the most ridiculously shameful teams in Europe right now. Napoli are coming off a Serie A win and they look like complete shit. Barcelona, on the other hand, are just not really a very nice club for moral reasons and for soccer reasons. That being said, I do think Barcelona are the slightly better team coming into this matchup. Even though we're playing in Italy, in Napoli, they just fired their manager, which was a long time coming, and who knows how they're going to be playing. That being said, Osaman up top, take him for goal, probably take him for shots. Uh, if I'm not going to try and pronounce his name, but the guy would be called Special K, a.k.a. KK. I'm not saying his name, but he's from Georgia, the country, not the state. And if you've seen his name, you know exactly who I'm talking about. Look at him to score an assist. He's not having the best season right now. But that being said, he is probably their biggest goal threat that isn't Osaman. So if the two of them aren't starting, forget Napoli. You really need to see both of them in the lineup. For Barcelona, it's Lewandowski's tournament. He's not in the best form right now, but it's still the Champions League. And you very rarely get him at a bettable number in La Liga. So make the most of it when he's playing in the Champions League. Anything above even money. Looking at plus 120, plus 140, if it's in that region, perfect. Love that. He will probably get a goal. Let's move on to the fourth and final game I want to talk about today. If you guys don't know, I love Major League Soccer. I'm the biggest MLS defender on the internet, probably. And we have the first game of the season. It's into Miami against Real Salt Lake. Everyone's talking up into Miami. They've got Messi, they've got Suarez, they've got Busquets, they've got Jordi Alba. It's essentially a Barcelona retirement home at this point. That being said, they probably should win. It's our season home debut in front of all their fans. And you can get Messi goal plus a Miami win at just around plus 120. 
That's a pretty good bet for me. I'm not a massive believer in the Inter Miami hype. I think their odds on the futures are pretty shit, honestly. And if you stay tuned to this channel, I'm going to have a video covering my MLS futures coming out pretty soon before the first game of the season. So keep an eye out for that. I'm not going to be touching Miami for season long futures. The odds are completely awful. That being said, they should get a win today at home against Real Salt Lake. So yeah, that's our Wednesday soccer action. As always, everything official will be locked in in my Discord channel within Gold Boys. I will also do my best to share some public plays on Twitter. As always, if you think you're struggling with gambling, don't forget to call the number 1-800-GAMBLER. If you haven't liked, subscribed, and dropped some comments on the YouTube channel, start doing that now. I don't know how many times i got to keep telling you. Subscribe to this channel. There's fantastic content, not just from me, but from the entire team. Anyway, it's been your boy Sam, a.k.a. FIFA Brit from Gold Boys. Have a good one, and I'll catch you next time.